It's not over. It's a long road. Uh, the word that I, when I, when I look at everybody's profile, the word that stuck out to me was the word sacrifice. And the reason why this word is so important to me, you know, I, I think about how much I do, how much I give of myself to other people. If, uh, you know, only dealing with the, dealing on the football field, what I do, or dealing with other people, you have to sacrifice a lot, a lot in life. And the only way to value your own life is to how well you value the lives of others. And so when y'all go out and do things for other people, it shows that you, you, you sacrifice yourself. And that means a lot. That gives pleasure to a lot of people. Pleasure to the man above, but it gives pleasure to a lot of people that's around you. And that's something that's, that's, that's really key. And so I want to tell y'all, when y'all go up there today, you done done your work. I'm nervous. When I come through this tunnel right here, our locker room is actually right down here. And so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as calm as I can be before I walk out here to this locker room. I'm nervous. It, the first play of the game, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. It's the fastest I ever run in the whole football game. <laughs> because I don't want to get hit. Yeah. <laughs> so, once you, so I'm nervous. I'm absolutely nervous. I step on the field, I'm still nervous. I hear all the fans, I'm nervous. But once the, it's time to go. So when y'all compete today, you have done this over and over and over again. You have seen yourself winning. I hope every one of y'all has seen yourself winning today. You gotta speak it first and believe it. And even if you don't win, you, it's, it's always you, you learn from it. It's not that you fail. And even if failed, you learn a lesson from it. And so once I went out, once you go on, like when I go out on the field, I understand what's going on. So once y'all get in front of the judges today and y'all present yourself, have fun. Don't be so uptight. You're going to be all right. I promise you. And once you finish, just smile and know that you gave it all you had. Because you're the only tell yourself that because you're the only person that knows. My coach used to always say, when we lost a football game, he was like, did you do everything you could? And everybody like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, well, look, this, look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself that question. If you can lie to your own self, you got this problem. And so that's one thing when I, every time I practice, every time I, I you know, I talk to kids, I talk to a lot of kids, I want to make sure I give them my all. I didn't come up here today half-stepping. I wanted to read about y'all because it's important to everybody who's here. It's important to the Boys and Girls Club. This is a really important event. So I had to make sure that I took it as important. And last but not least, just be thankful that you're here and know that you're here for a reason. It is, it is awesome, man. Y'all are few and many, and a lot of people are proud of y'all. You got a lot of people here that are happy, moms, dad, whoever. They're here because of you. And I know y'all went yesterday. Y'all went to the Cowboys facility yesterday, right? That's what, you know, that, that's, you know, we work there every day. And, you know, we don't like practice. I don't like practice. <laughs> I like to play in the games. But, you know, a lot of things, you know, when I, when I leave, and I got to go there later on today to actually work out, it's, it's, it's funny because every time I work out during this time of the year, I know I'm preparing myself for something. So as y'all went through all your years at the Boys and Girls Club, doing all the things you did, you prepared yourself for this. And I know last night y'all had a long day, but today is going to be a better one. And I'm proud of y'all. I'm going to read y'all this little thing that um, I look at most of the time in the morning, and I'm going to leave with this, and I want y'all to understand this is, you know, a little thing, and I hope you, you get it. It's called What Would Matter, Ready or Not. Someday it would all come to an end. There would be no more sunrises, no minutes, hours, or days. All the things you collected, whether treasured or forgotten, would pass to someone else. Your wealth, fame, and temporal power were sure for to irrelevance. It would not matter what you owned or what you were owed. Your grudges, resentments, frustrations, and jealousies would finally disappear. So too your hopes, ambitions, and to-do lists will expire. The wins and losses that once seemed so important will fade away. It won't matter where you came from or what side of the tracks on, on the end. 
It won't matter whether you were beautiful or brilliant. Even your gender and skin color will be irrelevant. So what will matter? How would the value of your days be measured? What will matter is not what you bought, but what you built. Not what you got, but what you gave. What will matter is not your success, but your significance. What will matter is not what you learned, but what you taught. What will matter is every act of integrity, compassion, courage, sacrifice that enriched, empowered, or encouraged others to emulate your example. What will matter is not your competence, but your character. What would matter is not how many people you knew, but how many people will feel a lasting loss when you're gone. What would matter is not your memories, but the memories that live in those who love you. What would matter is not how long you will remember, but by whom and for what. Living a life that matter doesn't happen by accident. It's not by accident. It's not a matter of circumstance, but of choice. Thank y'all.